Hello, welcome to my another session. In this session, I have a talk about the scope and importance of environmental stories. As you all know that the environmental story, this is the multidisciplinary academic subject and aim to solve the different environmental problems. So the solving of different environmental problems, we depend on these current disciplines. That's why the environmental studies become the multidisciplinary subject. And today, there is the more demand in the subject of environmental science regarding the environmental engineering, regarding the environmental analyzer, the town planning. So there are a growing demand in the field of the environmental stories. Because the environmental stories it is applicable throughout in different disciplines. That's why there is the demand and the growing demand in the field of environmental science or the environmental stories. So the uh, total importance and the scope I will cover under the two heads. One is the scope and another is the importance. So what are the different scope? Scope, it, it doesn't mean that you're getting a job. Scope means you aware. You gain some knowledge. This is the scope of the study of the environmental story. If you study the environmental stories, then you know how to maintain the natural resources. The natural resources, it is not unlimited, it is limited. But the growing of our population, but the use of such natural resources by the different organisms, it is unlimited. That's why if you study the environmental science or the studies, then you know how to maintain the natural source in proper way. This is the past scope of the environmental stories. Then if you study the environmental science of the environmental story, then you control the environmental pollution. The environment day by day, it will pollute or it polluted because of the activity of each and every organism. So, Every individual is responsible for the pollution of the environment. If you study, if you gain the knowledge how the environment pollute, then you can control the pollution. So this is the second scope. The third one is the new source of food. The study of environment, then it will form or it will open the new way to discover of the new sources of food for the different organisms or it may be for the human being. Fourth one is the human welfare. If you study the environment, then you know what is the composition of the environment and what is the relationship among the environment with the human being. So after the study of the environment, then we utilize the human race for the human welfare. So this is the subject of the environmental stories or this is the scope of the environmental stories. The fifth one may be the evolution. Evolution means, as you all know that, the development of complex organism from the simpler one. This is the subject of the biology. And such principle may also applicable in the environmental studies. Or the study of environment which disclose the process of evolution, how actual evolution takes place in on earth. This is the scope of the environment. Another scope may be the genetics. 
Age you all know that this is the very demanding subject of the genetics. If you study the environmental science of the environmental studies, then you know the different wild genes are present in the wild animals. So wild animals or the organisms are the reservoir of the different genes. Some, some of the beneficial gene you can identify after the study of the environmental science. Then such genes you may isolate and collect and may implant in the human being for the welfare or implant in the other organisms for, for the human welfare or the environmental problem solution of the problems so this may be the another scope of the environmental science another scope may be the survival of the human race if you study the environmental story or the environmental science then the human being ever that he is not the or she is not the citizen of a single country. She is the citizen of the earth. The total earth act as the unit. And the, each and every individual is the citizen of the total globe, total earth. Each and every activity of the human being has the unfavorable and the favorable effect to the environment. So human beings are the inseparable part of the environment. If the environment will sustain, then the human race will sustain. So this is the interrelationship. Such interrelationship and such sustainability concept will be developed in the human being by the study of the environmental science or the environmental studies. So these are the different scope. If you study the environmental science, then these concept, these solutions may develop in the mind of the human being. So now come to the importance of environmental science or the environmental studies. There are so many importance. If you study the environment, then you conserve the biodiversity. Biodiversity means the different varieties of the plants and the animals. Each and every plant and the animal has the great role towards the sustain of the environment. If you study the environment, then we have to conserve the biodiversity because we will know what is the importance of each and every plant, each and every animals in the environment. So, we conserve the biodiversity. If you study the environmental science, each and everyone study the environmental science, then each and everyone aware about the sustainable development of human being on the earth. So, which creates, which develop the concept about the sustainable way how to maintain the human race on earth forever and this concept is known as the sustainable development concept this concept will develop only because of the study of the environmental science or the environmental stories as I told that the natural resources are limited, but the use of such resources by different organisms are unlimited. 
day is not so far away the total natural resources will extinct so if you study the environmental science then the concept will develop in the mind how to use the natural resources effectively and this will be the scope of environmental stories now come to the behavior of the organisms what will be the behavior of the organisms for the sustainable of the environment the interrelationship and the solution these two are the more importance of the environmental stories if you study the environment then you know what is the interrelationship among the living organisms as well as the non living environment so togetherly we will sustain no one sustain alone so this concept actually developed by the study of the environmental story so the study of environmental science of the environment then which create the idea which know which provide the knowledge about the interrelationship among the living non living and other organisms the study of environmental science of the environmental story which provide the knowledge about how to solve the different problems in the environment so the for the solution of different environmental problems we have to study the environmental science or the environmental stories so these are the different scope and the importance actually these two heads are the two sides of a single coin so these two heads are both uh, related to each other so don't confuse these if you like then click on my another video regarding the another chapter thank you for clicking